Welcome back to Tableau Certified Associate Consultant Exam Prep. So we're moving on to Domain 2, which is going to focus on your ability to evaluate, prepare, and connect to different types of data sources. This domain accounts for 25% of the overall exam content, and you will actually see almost an equal number of questions that come from Domain 2 and Domain 3. However, the type of questions that you're going to see for Domain 2 are going to be a lot more challenging than the type of questions that you will see for Domain 3. So I would recommend placing a little bit more effort in reviewing Domain 2 content. All right, so let's take a look at the breakdown. In subsection 2.1, you will be tested on how to connect to different types of data sources in Tableau. So connecting to a file or connecting to a server or a saved data source. So to get a better idea of what type of questions you're going to see for subsections 2.1 and 2.4, I would highly recommend going over domain one of the Tableau Certified Data Analyst Certification because I guarantee that you will see almost identical questions on this exam as well. Almost half of your questions for domain two are going to come from subsections 2.2 and 2.3. And I personally found these subsections to be quite challenging. So in this exam review, we are going to be focusing on most of the questions that come from these two subsections. For subsection 2.5, you may see one or two questions related to sharing and permissions in Tableau, as well as data source governance. So you should be able to describe how you would share a workbook or a dashboard with a specific group of users on a Tableau site. And you should also be able to describe what a certified data source is. All right, so let's take a look at some questions. Let's say you want to connect Tableau to a Google Cloud SQL database instance and set up the data source. The required driver has already been installed on your local computer. What other information is required in order to create the connection? When connecting to a server in Tableau, you need to specify the server name, your username and password in order to create that connection. So you will need proper user credentials in order to authenticate. For question number two, you need to combine two tables with identical structure vertically, but your database does not support using the union option in the physical layer of the canvas what can you use instead? In this case, we can use custom SQL. So with custom SQL, we can create unions. We can also change data types of a field before, for example, joining our tables. We can pivot our data and we can also query a subset of our data set. So there's a number of different things that we can do using custom SQL. Um, make sure you guys go over different examples of how it can be used in Tableau. For question number three, let's say you're blending two data sources together. And after you have blended those two data sources together, you see asterisks appear in the view. What does this mean? Well, it typically means that you have multiple matching values in your secondary data source. So you need to make sure that there's only one matching value in the secondary data source for each mark in the primary data source. Let's say you have a data source that is updated daily with new sales transactions, and you want to update this data source with new daily transactional information. How will you configure your extract to be refreshed? So instead of refreshing the entire extract, you only want to add new rows of data. So you need to configure an incremental extract refresh. For question number five, you want to check when the product sales extract was last updated using the extract history. What other information is displayed in the extract history dialog box? The extract history dialog box is going to show you the date and time for each refresh. It's also going to tell you whether it was a full or an incremental refresh and the number of rows that were added. Please note that if the refresh was from a file, you will also see the source file name. Let's say you have several tasks scheduled to be run in Tableau Server and you want to prioritize an extract refresh over a subscription. Which priority number will you assign to refresh your extract first? In Tableau Server, you can assign a priority number to tasks and schedules using values from one to 100. Now, the lower the number, the higher the priority. For subscriptions, the schedule priority is going to be set to 50. So if we wanted to prioritize our extract refresh, we need to set the priority value to be less than 50. So in this case, the correct choice is C. For question number seven, let's say you want to share a newly created customer dashboard with two marketing team members who currently do not have Tableau license. Which product will you recommend? The answer here is C. We're going to recommend the Tableau Reader. Your organization wants to index all the content on their Tableau site, including workbooks, data sources, and flows. What can you recommend? The answer here is B. You're going to recommend the Tableau Catalog, 
to index all the content on their Tableau site. The Tableau catalog is a part of a data management add-on, which is essentially a collection of features and functionality that allows you to manage data assets and content in Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. For question number nine, let's say you have the following customer purchasing information stored in two different tables, and you want to create a single table that contains all the rows from both tables. If you found this question challenging, make sure you review the differences between unions, joins, blends, and relationships, because as a consultant, you will have to create and validate data models in Tableau, so make sure you guys know this stuff. Let's take a look at question number 10. Let's say there are over 100 published data sources on your Tableau site, and your users are getting confused as to which data sources contain accurate data that can be used for analysis and reporting. What can you do to help your Tableau users find trusted data sources on your Tableau site? Well, one of the best things to do in this case is to certify your published data sources. All right, so for domain two, what you guys wanna do is you want to focus on reviewing domain one of the Tableau Certified Data Analyst Exam Prep Series. And you can jump straight into it by following the link above. You will definitely see a lot of challenging questions related to extracts. So make sure you review the following information, how to schedule an extract refresh, um, how to set your priority, how the priority is ranked, as well as the difference between a full refresh and an incremental refresh. As a Tableau consultant, you should be able to recommend different products that Tableau offers. So make sure you review the Tableau product line. You will also see three to four questions related to the data catalog, Tableau Lens, and Tableau Conductor. And I'm also going to highlight the fact that you guys need to know the difference between blends, joins, unions, and relationships, and not just for this exam, but later on when you're actually working with data, um, you will have to explain why you chose a join or a relationship or how do blends work, for example, and how does that affect performance. So make sure you guys have this fundamental knowledge because it will be relevant in all of your projects going forward. I've included all the links to the mentioned resources in the description section of this video. So good luck preparing for domain two and stay tuned for domain three review.